Good morning. This is a special coverage of the coronavirus crisis using the combined forces of News 5 and Signal TV's One News, Radio Cinco, and One PH. The government has imposed a 60-day nationwide price freeze on essential goods. This is to prevent people from taking advantage of others during this time of public health emergency. It covers basic goods like pork, chicken, and certain fish, fish meat like tilapia, bahus, galunggong, as well as noodles, bottled water, bread, salt, detergent, and others. Prices of these goods should not increase from current levels. The price freeze also applies to online sellers and on essential medical supplies like ethyl alcohol, face masks, sterile gloves, and nebulizers. Violators will face hefty fines up to 2 million pesos and may be imprisoned for up to 15 years. Finally, the DTI also set a purchasing limit on some goods. For instance, for 70% alcohol, hand sanitizers, and other disinfectants, the limit is two pieces regardless of volume or size. It's five bars for individually sold bath soaps and one pack if sold as a bundle. It's 10 rolls of toilet paper or one bundle pack and five pieces for face masks. Para sa mga nanonood sa atin sa TV, nagpa-flash po ngayon sa inyong mga screen ang purchase limit per transaction po yan para sa iba pang mga produkto. Maaari nyo rin po makita ang listahan na yan sa social media accounts ng DTI. Pinag-aaralan na rin po ngayon ang uh, paglalaan ng uh, special lanes sa mga tinatawag na essential workers at cargo para mas mapabilis ang pagdaan nila sa checkpoints. Kasunod po ito ng reklamo ng ilang cargos at frontliners na inaabos sila ng samsam sa mga checkpoints. Sabi ni PNP spokesperson Bernard Banak, mas maraming lanes ang bubuksan para rito. Sabi naman ni Agriculture Secretary William Dar, mas maigi siguro kung may bukod na lane para sa cargo at bukod pa para sa health workers at yung sa mga na doon sa tinatawag na skeletal worker. President Duterte calls on LGUs to abide by the directive set by the national government. He warns local leaders who don't stand in line that they may face sanctions. He reminds them that they should base their local response on guidelines set by the interagency task force, particularly those that make it difficult for cargo trucks to pass through. You know the only reason why you can impose these quarantine restrictions and impose it on everyone passing your areas is because the national government is allowing you to do so. But if you go beyond the standards that we have set, you are abusing your authority and you know that it can lead to administrative cases or even worse unless you stop what you are doing and, and completely fully criminal cases cannot be far behind. The chief executive reminds them that during these trying times, there should be a coordinated response in the different levels of government. Let us work together to implement this quarantine and it shall, and it, it shall all begin with the LGUs making sure that your actions are consistent with the national directive. To do otherwise would sow confusion. Duterte is also mindful of the gravity of the situation. He admits what's happening is beyond just mere quarantine. Let me add that uh, at this time, I do not think it is just a quarantine or quarantine. I think that uh, we are already in the stage of a lockdown simply because the contagion continues to take its toll in the countryside. The president also assures those who were left stranded because of the heightened quarantine measures that the police and the army will extend food and lodging assistance. Young stranded, we will try to help you. Uh, the, your uh, Air Force 
and your uh, army will help you wherever you are. Kung wala ka nang mauwian, kung wala na kayong matulugan, I am uh, asking the military commanders of the different camps all over the country that you can go there and ask for accommodation at pagkain. And they will, uh, they would only be too willing to help you. Yan ang ating army at police. Uh, bigyan kayo pagkain at tulugan. Ano? Mga kapatid, sarado pa din po. Karamihan ng mga gym gawa na itong enhanced, gawa nitong enhanced lockdown. Pero pwedeng-pwede pa rin po tayo mag-workout kahit sa mga bahay natin. One activity we can all try out uh, itong uh, tinatawag na online yoga. As millions of people stay inside to stop the spread of the virus, many have turned to online platforms to break the monotony of being stuck inside their homes. In Israel, yoga teacher Nikki Foreman gathered her students from across the world to do yoga, with Foreman giving instructions on their screens. Seated in her house in central Israel, Foreman communicates with her students as far away as Holland. Foreman said more people were embracing online tutorials now that they're stranded inside their homes. Israeli authorities have enacted a set of sweeping measures against public gatherings, essentially disrupting the lifestyle of an outgoing and touchy-feely culture. And that's the latest on the enhanced and expanded community quarantine in Luzon. For more updates, follow News 5, The Philippine Star, and Business World Online. I'm Joby Francisco. We are One News.